Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work with LastPass as an application to store all your passwords, manage your passwords and share them between your friends, family or employees. LastPass is very good at keeping passwords, uh, very safe. Uh, first thing, we want to create an account here. If you've decided that LastPass is the go for you, or log into our existing password, uh, uh, I'm sorry, our existing uh, account. Once we're in here, uh, we are greeted with workspace straight away. We can focus on our left sidebar where we have all items with all the, all the passwords. We don't have there any, but we will add more later. Uh, passwords, notes, addresses, payment cards, bank accounts, and after a little dash, there's a security dashboard, so you can uh, see how strong your passwords are. Sharing center between uh, your, your uh, friends, family, employees, emergency access, now manage family, but we get there in a minute, account settings, and advanced options. First thing, we want to go to chrome.google.com and download an extension. The extension looks like this. So as you can see, there's a My World, recently used all items, add item, account, and so on and so on. So once we install our, our extension, let's go back to our workspace. We want to start with managing, for example, our family, and we want to add more members. That's me as a family manager right now, and we can add a family member. Email address, let's go like this. First name, Lisa, I don't know, Lisa White. You can set uh, her, him or her a role, member or a family member. I'll go with a member and we send an invite. As you can see, she's invited. We can uh, resend it or copy link for her just to click on the link and go straight to the, straight to the confirmation email. How we want to actually proceed to accept it, we want to go to our account. We want to log in, but not into not into this one, but in this one. One moment. Let me check the email. Straight away, we can. Uh, Activate our account. But we are logged in as a different one. But we can pretend that we actually invite uh, invited the girl like this. And we want to go to passwords. How do we create a password at LastPass? We click on add item URL. Uh, we can start, for example, with uh, Zapier. Zapier.com name Zapier, uh, it's not, uh, our uh, Zapier is not in any folder, username, like this, advanced settings, uh, if you want to, you can uh, activate this option if you want to require a master password, uh, once you want to log in through your extension, auto login or disable auto fill. We don't want any of that. So we click save. As you can see, Zapier is already added. We can go to last password, all items, passwords, uncategorized, and there's Zapier. So we can go and we can 
try to use login at Zapier. We have to log out first, obviously. We can log in. And straight away, we have the last pass. Last pass. We fill. We click continue. And yeah, here we are. We are at Zapier.com, locked thanks to LastPass. You can see we already used it. I'm sorry, it's a little bit scuffed. And we used it. We can just fill or copy username, copy password, and so on. So as you can see, it's very, very easy. What else we can do? We can add a notes, name uh, and folder, and then we can click an attachment. Let's go with Moon Moon. We attached it, name Moon. We don't have a folder yet, so save. And we can see it right here. Address. We can save the imported addresses, also, also important meetings on those addresses. So that's very, very easy, very useful. Payment cards, same uh, as always, go to the bottom left part, bottom right part, click a name, folder, and name on the card, type, number, security code, expiration date, and so on and so on. By that uh, way, you can uh, invite the family member to maybe copy and use the card. As you can see, you can upgrade your family. Bank accounts works the same way, but there's a Swift, IBAN, uh, pins and so on. Security dashboard, as you can see, uh, once we are in here and we actually um, saved one password. You can see how strong it is. At risk password zero because we just use it only once. Multi-factor authentication uh, it's inactive. I haven't activate multi-factor authentication, but you can easily repair it by clicking there. And you can basically uh, pick which one you want. Authenticator by LastPass, Google, Microsoft, Duo, Ubicon, or Salesforce. It's very good if you are into integrations, so you can make it very easily. You can manage trust, trusted devices, but at the moment, I trust only uh, my, my desktop. So you can go straight to account settings. That's will, that will be the fastest way how to track it. General, you can see you can change the master password or revert it to change it back to your previous one. multi options, we've been them through. Trusted devices, I don't have any. Mobile devices, we can enable it. But then you will have to log in with your uh, with your mobile phone into the last pass. Never URLs that will uh, turn off last pass on specific sites. If you don't really want to use it, for example, for Facebook or Instagram, you don't really have to. So you can uh, make these exceptions, equivalent domain and the rules. We've been through basically almost everything. You can also uh, use free VPN with LastPass, advanced options. Now you can import uh, all the passwords. For example, if you ever used, um, for example, one password or Bitwarden or any other sites for uh, for password management, you can basically do it like that. But I believe you 
catch the essence of of how last password works so thanks for watching and see you on the next video